Hi, this is John again. Uh, again, I'm with the, the Cypress PSOC 6 BLE Pioneer Kit. Um, this time what I'm going to show is on the E-Link Shield, there's a, a couple of devices. There's a motion sensor, there's a thermistor, and then a microphone. And this example is one of the examples that came from the, the Cypress website for this device. It's the PDM to PCM example. And it, it's, uh, it's an audio example. So it shows the audio capture capabilities of uh, coming through the shield and going through the, the PSOC device and then what it'll do is go through that and go out to uh, serial port and show some some lines and stuff like that. Uh, so here on the top level design there they've already added this. I've already included the, the project in here and built it and stuff so we don't have to go through that but then they, uh, they have the device up here with some settings um, some basic settings and they got the FIFO trigger set a channel gain, there's no gain. I guess you can go back and set that. Output. Um, soft mute fine, they've set that to 0.26 dB. And uh, so a few things there. And then there's the other devices out here. And it's also interesting because they, they kind of created a uh, little menu. This is a nice way of doing this to, to label your systems. They have an LED, um, where is it, right here. So that set, they got the hardware connection off. So this is actually going to go through a core rather than through the PSOC device. And uh, so they've already set that up. And then they have a switch so you can reset the LED. And they've already set that. This is actually an input. CMOS, rising edge. And then they have a UART that's set up too. Uh, transmit only. And they have the baud rate set to 15. Uh, 11, 11 5, 200. The oversample so 8 bits uh, pins. We don't have that assigned that up here. And then over here, if we go click on pins, then we can see the pins assignment for this. So the LEDs out here, P11. So that should be the green LED. And then UART's on here, and the PDM clock, and the PDM data. Uh, so that's what we get. Let me see some analog. It's interesting. They have a nice little schematic that goes along with it too. <clears throat> and so this has already been compiled and set up. Uh, again, they have the multiple cores. And if we go into main, uh, they've enabled CM4. There's nothing here. So if we go down to CM4, the main for CM4, <clears throat> we should see some stuff. Uh, they set up a string size, a sample size, so hysteresis, full, um, and then some variables. And their UART string. And then down here, they have the ISR handler. That'll handle uh, stuff coming in. And then their main. Uh, they go through the, do the init, invec enabled, so the enabled uh, interrupts, and then they start the UART, and then they init the PDM PCM component, right, and then they go through a loop, and then they're checking for the signal and clearing, um, and checking for samples. And then if it goes to the noise threshold, they go enable the LED. Otherwise, it's going to be off. Well, they clear it. I guess it's if it's greater, they're going to clear it, and then they set it. Um, let's see. Reset noise threshold. Yep. The get interrupt status. So this is going to get the noise threshold. Bring that in. And then they're going to output the string. And that's pretty much, and then clear the interrupt as they come out of it. So that's pretty much what that does. So if we go ahead and program this, oh, there's something else I should point out actually. <clears throat> yeah, once this is up and running, so it's been successfully programmed. Let's go reset. So as I talk, 
you can see the green LED that's coming up. So that's an indication that it is working. Let's bring up a putty. The putty interface, you can see also that they added some cool stuff here. So this also indicates as the, the volume goes up. So if I stay a little quiet. Yep, so it's indicating that the, the, uh, the sound coming in as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I just output it to the serial port out the putty. And uh, as you can see, as I talk, the LED is blinking. And uh, so that's pretty much what it does. So this is actually just uh, showing an example of using the microphone on the on the LCD screen, and then how it can be used to output some data. Um, this could be used another way. This is out, actually could be maybe an LED display or some some other tool, or even could be used to to activate a device or something like that with uh, voice activated. So there you go. That's a pretty cool, simple way of doing things.